so yeah, this is my new body of work. It's called Athena's Mythology and it speaks about my own personal mythology um, and my identity and the core concerns of human existence, which are, I guess it deals with existential questions like where do we come from, you know, and why are we here and, and you know, why do we default to fear and frustration as a planet and as a consciousness um, rather than love and cre like creation. And I'm very passionate about that and like how it's our responsibility to shift that individually. So that definitely comes into the work. My research is like, includes daily thoughts. It's basically painting daily thoughts. So it's very expressive, immediate, um, and, and they're inspired by conversations, thoughts, um, documentaries on the quantum field and power of intention. Um, there's the, the framework, the aesthetic framework. I kind of like work within that to give me a direction and a, and a boundary. And that is um, within mythology at large, like in general, which is like, there's always um, a sense of like morality or life lesson within, when you think of mythology, you always think of that. And there's a sense of magic and magical creatures that can sometimes come in. And I try and bring in the magic through almost like childlike expression. That's, that's my aim. So they, I, I kind of see them as like uh, large scale sketches, you know, that promote kind of, or like aim to symbolize like a sense of freedom, like a freedom from the left brain thinking of society and a space in which people can view something with childlike eyes, fresh eyes. I look, I look into like mythological um, paintings from the Renaissance and sometimes I will paint them and copy them pretty, pretty much literally and then, I'll, and then I'll overlay an image on top that reacts to that story, that morality or that life lesson. Yeah, this is some of the work, there's a lot more to it. There's a lot more work anyway, outside these walls.